Sometimes you might find yourself in a situation where VS Code is just not working as expected. Something is broken. And if you can't figure out what the problem is, sometimes the best course of action is to just do a fresh install. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Uh, this is going to be specific to Mac users, so all the paths and commands I'm going to be referencing are for Mac users. Now, before we do the fresh install, the first thing I recommend doing is backing up your settings and your extensions so that after you do the fresh install, you can get the program back to a state in which you're used to working, where you have all the tools that you're used to, all the configurations that you're used to. So to get started, let's go over to the notes I have that accompany this video, and I want to scroll down. There's a command I want to start off with under this section, Backup Extensions. What we're going to do is we're going to get a list of all your currently installed extensions, and we're going to write them to a text file on your desktop called VS Code Extensions.txt. Now, in order to do this, we are going to use VS Code's uh, command line based program called Code. So you do need to make sure you have that installed. Uh, the way you can check is just bring up your command line program. If you type code, uh, it should open up your VS Code window. If you don't have it installed, what you'll see is a message about uh, command not found. If that's the case, I have instructions on how to install it. What you want to do is open up your command palette and search for code. And I'll show you what that'll look like. So I'm going to open up my command palette. That's going to be Shift Command P. And then just start searching for code. And you want to find this option to uh, install code command in path. Once you do that, you should have access to code in command line. All right, so coming back to our first command now that we have that, let's run this. And like I said, this is going to take a list of our extensions from VS Code and write it to this file on our desktop. All right, just to check that that worked in VS Code, I currently have my desktop open in the Explorer. And I'm going to open the resulting file. And you can see all of my extensions there. Next, let's back up our settings. So we're going to run this command. I'll bring this over to terminal. And what this is going to do is it's going to copy our settings.json file, which is within our library application support code user directory. And again, it's going to write it to a backup file on our desktop. This time it's called VS Code settings.json. All right, so that's complete. Coming back here, we can see the resulting file. All right, there's all our settings. I want to pause the video here with a quick edit to mention that in addition to backing up your settings, if you have any custom key bindings or keyboard shortcuts, you'd want to back them up as well. And the procedure for doing that is very similar to backing up the settings. Basically, there's a config file. You'll make a copy of it on your desktop. And if you're following along in the notes that accompany this video, you will see that in the notes after backup settings, there's a section here with the command you need for backing up your key bindings. So with those things backed up, we next want to clear VS Code from our system. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to first close out VS Code. And then I'm going to run this command to delete the application itself. And then there's a series of other commands I want to run to remove any meta files, as well as the settings and extensions associated with VS Code. We really want to get a blank slate here. So we can copy all of these remove commands at once. And that should be good to go. So now that it's removed from our system, we want to get a fresh install. So I'm going to go to the VS Code homepage. It should auto detect your operating system. So just click the download button. And I'll give it a moment to complete the download. And the download is complete. So I'm going to double click it to open it up. And then I will drag the resulting application over to my applications mm -hmm. folder. And then from within there, I can locate it and open it up. And of course, the first time I go to open it, my computer's going to ask for permission to open it. So I will uh, approve that. And there we go. A fresh install of VS Code with the default theme. We see this default welcome page. All right, so now that that is reinstalled, let's talk about pulling back our extensions and settings and essentially rebuilding this. So coming back to the notes uh, under Restore Settings, you can see I've got two options here. Option one is to do a full settings restore. Um, this is something I would recommend if you're confident that the problem you were having wasn't coming from your settings. Uh, if the problem was in your settings, what you want to do is do a more manual approach to restoring your settings where you're going to pull in one setting at a time. And just to give you a sense of what that would look like, the first thing you would want to do is open up your settings file in VS Code. So I'll show that. Let me go over to VS Code. I'm going to get to my settings file uh, again via that command palette. So I'll do Command Shift P. And I'm going to search for settings. 
and I want to find the option to open user settings, the JSON file. All right, so this was the file we had backed up uh, previously. Uh, now it's empty because we did do a fresh install. And what we want to do is open up our backup file. So let me open that file. This is on my desktop, VS Code settings. All right, and you can literally just start pulling in a setting at a time. So we could start with this first line. We could bring it in here, save the changes, and then uh, test VS Code and try to recreate the problem you were having that caused you want to want to do the fresh install. And basically just do this for a setting at a time and see if you can narrow down uh, which setting, if it was in fact your settings that was causing the problem. Uh, now, if you're in a situation where you're confident it's not a problem with your settings, uh, a quicker approach to this is just to take everything in that backup file and write it to your VS Code settings JSON file. And here's a quick command to do that. So I'm going to copy this, go back to my command line program, run that. And then if I go back to VS Code where I have the settings file open, um, you could see all my settings were written here. Uh, now in this case, because I had already started making edits here, what that command did is actually wrote my settings for my backup uh, to this file in addition to the existing content. And that's not actually what I want here. So I'm going to delete that existing content. We just want our settings exactly as it was written in our settings backup file. Um, if you're following along in the instructions, you're going to choose one of these options. You're not going to do both like I was just showing, so you won't run into that issue. Pausing the video again with a note about key bindings. Now would be the time that if you back them up and you wanted to restore them, you should do it at this point. Um, again, following the same procedures that I just showed for restoring settings, but you'll just swap in the uh, path names we use for key bindings. And again, you could refer to the notes for full details. Moving on past your settings, you want to also restore your extensions. And again, you could either just restore all of your extensions using this uh, first option here. I have a command that will reference the extensions backup file that we created. It'll go through that file, and for each extension listed there, it will uh, install it with this command. Alternatively, if you want to do one extension at a time, you're just going to manually go through that file, look at the name and the uh, extensions in there, and search and install them in VS Code. Uh, and let's just show that quickly. So let me pull up that backup file. All right, so starting here, I have an extension called Better Comments by uh, Aaron Bond. So I'll just go over to my extensions panel and I'll search for that. Make sure I've got the correct author here and I would go ahead and install that. And then like your settings, you would wanna test it with each extension that you added. Uh, but if you're confident that the extensions weren't the problem, you just want to install all of them. Again, this command will do that. And that's what I'm going to do on my end. So let me run that. This will take a few moments as it downloads all of the extensions. And that's all done. So coming back to VS Code, we could just look at our extensions under installed and just skim through there and make sure everything's looking as expected. All right, now at this point, uh, with my settings that in place and my extensions in place, I should also be seeing the same color theme I was working with previously, but I'm not seeing that. I'm still seeing the default theme. Uh, and the reason for that is I'm actually noticing that my settings.json file has this little dot here indicating that I haven't saved my changes to that file. Uh, and I didn't do that because one of the settings I typically have in VS Code is to auto save my files when I leave them. But because I was dealing with default settings, it doesn't do that. So I have to actually manually save this file then it should recognize my settings and with that, uh, the appropriate color theme. So let me go ahead and just do that file, save. There we go, that looks much better. And because my settings are now in place, moving forward as I make changes to files and leave them, it should auto save them for me. All right, and with that, we have done a fresh install and restored all of our settings and extensions. And if you were doing this because you were debugging, uh, troubleshooting something wrong in your VS Code, hopefully this process has uh, fixed that error and got you back on track.